So today I thought we'd take a look at a uh, couple of different GY6 starters. A Chinese starter for 40 bucks, part number 164224, and a Taiwanese starter, the Beijing High Torque Starter, part number 169282, which retails for $111. And I thought we'd take them apart and see what you know the differences are between these two. So let's get them out of their boxes. Let's see what we got. Well, one is certainly more orange than the other. This one is raw metal mostly, that common gold starter color. Yeah, pretty basic looking. And then we've got flashy orange with a sticker, you know, and a polished top. And I wonder, you know, if that's all it is. You know, we've never really pulled one apart to look, so I thought this might be a good exercise. But, you know, initially upon inspection, the Beijing one does it looks a lot nicer. It's got a cleaner finish to it. So let's pull them apart. Now, taking out the screws is the boring part, so we'll we'll speed this up. Nah, forget that. We'll just skip most of it. There we go. Almost done. So let's pull these apart. The magnets are tough, makes it a little hard to pull them apart. You gotta give them a tug. There are some brushes and springs and starter parts up in there. We'll look at that later. Let's get the armature out. Mm, yep, looks like a bushing in there. Now on to the Banjing. More springs and brushes. We'll grab the armature, pull that out. Oh, got the O-ring. Get that out of the way. So you can immediately see some differences on the armature between this one, the, the Taiwanese one, and, and the Chinese one. It's immediately a little bit larger, and you'll notice machining marks on it as well. And in there, looks like another bushing, a fair amount of grease. I was wondering if there'd be a bearing in there or not, but it doesn't look to be. So, you know, looking at these, you can immediately see that the Taiwanese one is bigger. And the weight balance has been machined into the armature instead of what looks like a couple of little blobs of clay or epoxy or something that was, you know, stuffed onto the Chinese one. Clearly the windings are larger, the commutator is cleaner. If we look at the Chinese one, We'll see those little blobs of, they're hard, so it's like epoxy. And it definitely looks like, you know, the windings have been epoxied onto the commutator. I mean, this is all functional stuff. It's fine. That, that Those are the additional weights for, you know, it being balanced for when it spins. And it's mostly glued and together. And we'll take a measurement of this. It's a solid 38 millimeters. A little bit less than 38 millimeters across. And the Taiwanese armature is machined instead of having little parts added on. After years of spinning, this is clearly a better option. Nothing can fly off, nothing can change. We see this on other Taiwanese parts like Dr. Pulley as well, where they, they machine weight changes in. The commutator is very clean on this. The windings are very well done. You can see there's a certain level of machining expertise that's gone into this that isn't in the Chinese starter. And it's held on by a little snap ring as well. And, you know, putting putting the caliper on it, we can see that this is a solid 40 millimeters across. So it's a larger, heavier piece with the with the added windings and the more spinning mass. I'm, that's probably where the high torque feature comes from. So we'll, you know, get a little measurement on the inside. It's a little tricky with the magnets pulling at the calipers, but it looks to be about 39 millimeters on the inside. And... The Taiwanese one 
looks to be about 41. So each one has about a millimeter of clearance inside. So they, they run that same thing. So we'll put these back in their housings and we'll see how they sit in there. See if there's any machining tolerance differences, slop, just, you know, to see. So the Taiwanese one, it fits in there. It's real solid. You're not getting that thing to move up against the magnets at all. This one, <laughs> not so much. She'll chuck right against those magnets. So the, the, the machining tolerances on the Taiwanese starter are substantially higher than they are on the Chinese starter. Once again, for the Chinese starter, for a stock starter for 40 bucks, it's fine. When we look at the cap, there's in brushes and springs and the normal things you see on top of a starter and O-ring. It's pretty common for, you know, any starter really. These are just the parts that make it work and, and these, these are fine. On the Taiwanese one, oh, it's a little bit different. We actually have a bushing plate, which if you decide to rebuild your starter is really, really nice because you can pull the whole bushing assembly out of the cap of the starter. And, and that makes for rebuilding really, really nice. It's clearly just, once again, a nicer part. They weigh about the same, they're both aluminum. There's not really any differences there, but it's, it's clearly, once again, just more went into this starter than into the Chinese starter, and, and that's reflected in the cost. So in the end, there you have it, the physical differences between a Chinese GY6 starter and a Taiwanese GY6 starter. I kind of like the orange, but I'm partial to the color. Some people maybe like raw metal. This one will get the job done. The Taiwanese one will just get it done better. And now I get to put these things back together. <laughs>